last concussion last week. Dustin, Dustin Martin going to full forward. Here we go. Four wins apiece here at the MCG. Dream time underway, 2013. Sorry, boys. And doesn't an umpire dread that happening? Not at the first bounce, BT. Not an ideal start. But this umpire will be Brett Roseby tonight. Robert Finlay and Chris Donlan, three very experienced operators in control of this one. The superstar Watson with the first clearance and a nice kick to the advantage of Ryder. Coming in from centre half forward, gathers a clean ball and gets it to Hocking. Hocking, beautiful left foot stroke of the foot. He got it to Cramery. Yeah, not, not a lot of pressure on Hocking. He's able to execute the skill. Cramery goes long and deep. Hurl, he's there. Juggling attempt at Mark was swatted away in the end by Bachelor. Cotchen had a go, but Zaharakis there as well. I reckon Nathan Foley has a run with role with Joe Watson, so a new role for Foley. Basha Hooley, one of two people to play with both of these sides. The other is Sam Monaghan, who's in through his first game tonight. You spot on there, Richo. Foley's got the job on Watson, and not a bad move, that. Foley's a brilliant clearance player himself, so he'll be able to match Joe into the contest. Bell Chambers reaching over the top. There is the man. Richo and Lingy speak of, Nate Foley. Down his third game back from an Achilles injury, Nathan Foley. It's good to see him out there. No Watch. surprise to see Heath Hocking running around alongside uh, Trent Cochin at the moment. And he's just switching between Delidio and Cochin. You can see Cochin there's trying to get to Joe Watson. Stanton caught in the Cochin tackle, and then I thought Cochin caught one high from Winderlich, but the umpire decided to let it go. Oh, no. I reckon once it gets Fine. into general play, Foley's going to Watson around the stoppages. They're happy to keep their normal structure. And in the goal square, Michael Hurley's got Jakey Batchelor, and they're really giving Hurley some space trying to clear out. I think that's a, a matchup the Bombers will think uh, they can exploit. Edwards head over this one. Won it out for the Tigers. Nahas couldn't control it. Dempsey did well to swat it away. Got it onto Comma. Comma around down towards the goal square. Good position. Hurley arrived late. Batchelor in front did well. Interesting matchup down the other end of the ground. Dustin Martin. At full forward, Dustin Fletcher picking him up. So they'll try and put a lot of ball through Martin early. Boy, that ball didn't have the legs that Batchelor thought it would have from the kickoff. Rance held the footy, thinking he could be spun in the tackle and still get it away. No one there, though. That was the problem. Chaplin, this is a big occasion for him. I guess as a former Port Adelaide player, he wouldn't have played in too many big crowds other than that series of finals they played in. Here's Rance. Well, you see Fletcher, normally if his opponent gets right up to half back like this, he'd sit back, but he's uh, playing... Martin respect and going with him. Morris gives it to the better ball kicker. In Cotchen on his not preferred side. How good was that? Rewalt found space and Cotchen delivered it in that space. Yeah, and that's a, a really big win, I, I think, for Richmond to have Martin drawing Fletcher out because what happened is Rewalt then got the one on one and look at all the space there. So normally Fletcher would be going third man up but uh, not prepared to let Dustin Martin go. So that's a good early win for the Tigers. I'll be very happy with that. So Rewalt. For the first direct shot at goal here. A kick of some 45 metres. There's the angle. Very reliable kick. This one on the way. No exception. First blood to the Tigers. Well, maybe the eucalyptus leaf and the socks helped him. It's put it straight through the middle. Jack Rewald, as you said, BT. Pretty reliable shot at goals these days, Jack. Got a nice routine, a nice straight approach. And that was no different. He's put it straight through the middle. Richmond uh, at all the disposal early, 15 to 5. Crowd continuing to build here at the MCG. Most of the tickets, I think, pre-sold, Richo, were they not, from a Richmond home game perspective? Yeah, it was. All tickets were sold out, so you can only get in if you were like MCC or AFL. Which means we're going to have 80,000 thereabouts here at the MCG. Great crowd brewing here. There's a few latecomers come in. Richmond with the first goal of the game. Edwards bundled out of the way. Bell Chambers let it go. In went Marich. A real welcome return for the Tigers. Zaharakis with the break, though. On his left side, got it inside 50. Dempsey, nice knockdown. Hurley, snap around the body. Beautiful control for the Bombers. Was it touched? Look at the Richmond players. They're appealing. So the goal's going to stand. And we've got a lot of Richmond players saying, hey, and we've got a hand on that. We'll see if we can have a look at that shortly. But 
Michael Hurley is having a look. He's got a little bit of a smile on his face, I think, Michael Hurley. Yeah. Yeah, that was they'll touched. They'll review it if they think. We know, no one's seen it, so we don't just call it. Finger went appeal. back there. So they've, see, they'll get a replay up. So back. Well, 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 I think this one will be called back for the score review because that score replay review. shows the finger on the left hand. Look at it. Right there has gone back and that was touched. And this is where the score review system will get it right. Well, you would think so, BT. That looks pretty conclusive. The first angle was better. There it is. It's been a water up behind. I'm not sure it has yet as a big so I think that's the crowd responding from the replay they're seeing off the big screen. Oh, oh. Your fingers don't you can stand back behind. It's touched. Unless it's touched and there you go. It's touched, says the umpire. Hold the player. Hold it. It's got to be No, no, it's clear. So the goal will be reversed. It will be a behind. Auckland. And the right decision made. Score review system working well. Yeah, it did on that occasion. Normally the touched ones are, are pretty hard to tell, but that one was conclusive. There was a reaction from the Richmond players around too. They were all pretty convinced that was the case, so correct decision. Desperate lunge by Batchelor. Saved a goal. Little things like that add up. Myers, handball to Heppel. He's got his left foot in line with the goal. He just couldn't quite get balanced. An opportunity for Cramery. Rance has got him in the tackle. It's got to be a throw. Incorrect disposal. Great tackle by Rance. Yeah, it was a brilliant defensive effort there from Alex Rance, who was strong enough and good enough to get back in the one-on-one. -on -one. Essendon's midfield this year uh, much improved. Dyson Heppel's now a permanent midfielder. Brendan Goddard, the big recruit in the off-season, adds a heap of skill and pace. Heath Hawkins, a great tagging midfielder. So, so much... Uh, you know, depth they've got now right across their midfield group. They certainly have. They've got a good uh, spread of inside contested players and then just some terrific runs. Zaharaka Stanton on the outside complement uh, the inside players. Martin, little clearance from the boundary line. In went Lodigan. We know he's a hard head, the former bomber. He, his VFL game last week, BT, 20 possessions, 16 contested. So you know what you're going to get there. Kick out in front here of Vickery, took a wonderful mark, gave it off to the runner Jackson. He can go all the way, 55 metres out. I think it's there, it is. Great Shepherd on the line from Rewalt. Just the behind, hit the post, said the umpire. Must have just caught the inside of it. No argument from anyone uh, around the no. contest there, BT, so it must have been pretty conclusive. Here's Heppel. Must have Super player, this man. How good was that from Dyson Heppel? The use of the body there, absolutely perfect. Heppel on that beautiful left foot long ball. G. Rance got a oh, high clip there from Cramery. Oh, shoulder. Back you come. Hey, Stewie, stay. So, oh, Tigers no. doing some good stuff, some good signs early. Here's Koch and their star looking to get it in there to Dunlidio. Another one of those. Comma really made him earn it. Chaplin can open it up through the middle. Didn't take possession. Newman did well. He knew he was about to be tackled. Tapped Matthew, it for Chris, himself. Chris, 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 this way, Chris. Here, Chris. Yeah. Well, he's, he's going to go over his mark umpire when he does play on that way. So, gee, I don't know what that was about. Very pedantic from Donlan. Here's Chaplin out wide. He'll be welcomed back, Chris Newman. He's kicking skills. Something the Tigers need. Bachelor. High ball around the corner, here comes Rewald on the chest, Carlisle couldn't get to him. Well that's when Jack Rewald plays his best footy, BT. If you get caught in a wrestle with Jake Carlisle, we'll have a look at that, he jumps at the football, that's uh, when he's at his best. Carlisle and protected the drop spot, have a look at this. Yes. It's come off that's the, the hand uh, after. Well, that's so, interesting, isn't it? Was it over the line? Yeah. It's gone before through it hit the post. Come so back. It's come like. off the hand and then hit the post. Umpire determined it was in the field of play. Angle from there, hard to tell. In the meantime, Rewalt from 45 metres out. That's bending left to right. That is really nice. But it just clipped the back of the post. Let's have another look at that post, guys. Well. Not able to conclude from that angle where the ball's crossed the line. So the Bombers 
prohibit from that back half of the ground here now. Did well Watson used his hip and his hips beautifully. To Heppel, a give and go, dangerous handball by Watson. Look at the clubbing tackle from Lonigan on Howlett. It was an absolute ripper, full of aggression. Dempsey now, control, Jeddah also back into the bomber lineup this week. Gathers possession, 55 out, high ball, done well here, Winderlich. Did really well. Paddy Ryder engaged Morris. And Winderlich with the free hands. Yeah, he did that very, very well. That's your line. Right there, Just got a bit uh, caught in the flight of the ball there, Steve Morris, and Winderlich judged it perfectly. Ended up, it was almost an uncontested mark in the end. Three goals from his fourth ga four games so far. Winderlich comes in and kicks that goal. Well, you can almost go back to the centre of the ground. A lot of 50 50 ball in there. Joe Watson used his body beautifully, tapped the ball into the path of his teammate, who then got it onto Jeddah in open space. That's what happens when you have someone as good as Job in those 50 50 contests. One two apiece at the G. Jason Winderlich's first goal since he kicked three goals on Anzac Day. Going back a few rounds, he really adds a bit to this lineup with his leg speed and an underrated mark as well for his size. Howlett with a clearance. Marriage had a beautiful tap. They couldn't make it work. Rance just getting Cramery under the footy with a little bit of a shove. Now Bachelor kicks got to work. It's to the advantage of Jackson, although he had to pick it up off his laces. Howlett did well. They reckon that one come off the knee. Now Zaharakis pursued by Nahas. Got the late call up. No Brandon Ellis tonight. Best on field last Ooh. week. Hibbert goes inside 50 without great direction. Vickery and Hurley just clocked the little one for arriving late. Risky kick comes off to Cochin. Right. Cochin wide. Here's Grigg. He can go. Space. Leroy Jetta probably would have best staying on the ground and manning the mark there as Cochin now threads the needle to Hooley. So some good foot use from the Tigers here early. Grig again, not the required journey, said the umpire. Martin straightens it up to Vickery. The good zone happening here at the moment. The Bombers have got two or three numbers back across half back. And every time the Tigers look up, they're seeing Richmond numbers. So they're doing the right thing here. Richo is holding on to the footy. Start of the game. I don't mind it. Just get a few possessions in your hand. You don't want to give it back. Essendon is the best team in the competition yeah. at rebounding and scoring the other way. So yeah. they're not going to give them cheap possession here. Well, Damien Hardwick said pre-game they just wanted to control some possession. I think that's what you're talking about there, Darcy. Jackson handball. Morris went and got it. He'll be a valuable commodity tonight. Morris with his toughness around the ball. Edwards. Tackled ball, pinned in there on the tackle. Quick soccer out by Nahas. Marries, did he get clobbered in the back? A real sharp handball from Dempsey. Bagley and Zaharakas combine. They bring it back inside. Hocking can go on his left. This is where they are dangerous, BT. They Bills link up off and run. To Heppel to Dempsey. Dempsey, bad kick. But nothing up ahead, Vickery, you see. So he showed a bit of oh, pace for a big man. Great release handball. Hooley time to get back on the left. Point of the square. High ball. Got to come from a couple deep right up. Seen oh. Vickery get back and now Ryder get back to help defence. And Richard, this is a very hot game out there. The intensity is actually through the roof. There's not a lot of free ball. It's really smart by both teams when they get a chance. Just keep possession. Just take a bit of pace off. Because neither of these teams can go at this sort of pace all night. It's incredible. Some support for the uh, score review system on Twitter. Luke Hodge says that's why the video review was brought in. It's worth a one minute wait for the correct decision to be given. We would have been moaning if we'd let it go, Das, that is yep. for sure. Heppel now to Stanton. Stanton, by the way, one of only four players that have played in all eight Dreamtime games. The others being Newman, Deledio, and Tuck, of course, this being the ninth game tonight. Just seeing the Bombers control the ball by feet here. They're very good skills, the Bombers. That's three kicks in a row that have been spot on. Good gets him out of trouble. Good presentation by Hurley to mark on the chest here. A neat little kick to Ryder, who's come down the ground. 
gave it off to Goddard. His kick was smothered by Jackson. Demanded the footy back, Jackson. Now the run of Floston. Half-back wing almost. A pretty difficult kick. Carlisle got in the way, did well. Stanton now, so a bit of ping-pong going on here at the moment. Goddard, the green-booted Goddard. Wants to switch the play. The Bombers have got the free out wide if they can get it through the hands of Fletcher. Fletcher goes back to the middle. Winderlich was wide. Carlisle, Hibbard now. Hocking in the middle. So methodical build-up here from the Bombers. Heppel now decides to go long. Bell Chambers in the middle of this. Ryder from the side. And another one is Watson. Kick around the corner. Brilliant build-up from the Bombers. Uh, nice finish, Joe Watson. That's just great front and square play, but patient build-up. They didn't rush it. They were prepared to wait, and eventually they, they got the overlap. They could get a handball receive, and Heppel got it into a contest, and Watson did the rest. Let's go straight back. Played it superbly, the Bombers here. They really held on to the footy, and then Heppel looked up and said, we'll hit the hot spot and get front and centre. And Joe Watson, a specialist in that part of the game. Bell Chambers made it happen down forward. What about the control on that little kick? It didn't pay off for Watson, but it was quite deliberate to try and get it to Heppel on the run. Didn't work on that occasion, but such an intelligent player is Job. His coach and they let him run. He decides to retreat and go backwards to Bachelor in the end. I suppose number six for Trent Cochin, but he hasn't been able to break the lines like Damien Harwood would like him to. He's run into heavy traffic every time he's got the footy so far. Been incredibly patient, uh, Lingy, so far. The Tigers across half back, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, I don't like it too much though, BT, when they go backwards and really sideways. It's playing in like this one here. Yeah, the Essen have just set up so well. They need to still go forward with the ball. Keep possession like Essendon did on their last transfer of play and go forward with the footy and not backwards too far. Well, eventually Essendon will press down on you and it just takes one skill error. So yeah. You can see Essendon starting to creep yeah. up now, yeah. can't you? you? Eventually, as Lingy said, you've got to get something moving forward. Now, Martin takes the risky kick, but he's good enough to do that to Chaplin. Chaplin, not sure to do. I suggest kick it long, but Rewald on the lead. A bullet in front of Carlisle. Carlisle. Carlisle was caught talking to the umpire. Rewald sold him some foot candy, but missed. It's risk reward, isn't it? From Richmond's point of view, they've got to be brave enough at times to do exactly that. The kick into the corridor. It had some risk attached to it, but you saw it split the Essendon zone apart there, and they're able to go forward with it, a real opportunity. You know, it's I'm getting it in the right hands to take that risk, isn't it? Yeah. The best kickers to yeah. do that. What was good about that Richmond build up? And there's Stanton, the kicker. He just goes into the middle. He does not even think about it, and it opens it up. It gets this run release happening. Myers, a left footer, gives it to another one in Heppel. He can go as well. And Stanton over the top, a little ball, but that's going to be out of bounds. You know what? Well, he's unlucky there, Stanton, because his work rate was greater than any other player on the ground. He pushed forward hard, should have been rewarded with a shot on goal. Unfortunately, Heppel's kick went wide, but. His work rate and run is outstanding, Stanton. On. Lower decks of the G there, absolutely packed to capacity. On. Great atmosphere in here tonight. Dreamtime ceremony was brilliant before the game. Some of the stars of the Indigenous history in the game presented before us. The likes of Nicky Winmar and Michael Long. His Bagley. Rather nervous, Damien but Hardwick. I just think Damien Hardwick won't feel as though he's playing the game on the terms that he would have liked to coming into this match. He started well getting Fletcher out and revolting in one-on-one, -on -one, but since then, on with Lingy, it's been too much back-chipping. They haven't had enough of this bursting through the middle of the ground. Beautiful, soft little give from Cochin there. He messed it up with the kick going forward. Got to get it out of there as Hooker. He pulled it back in, eventually got it to Goddard. Now Heppel. Playing an important role. Carlisle's, they peel, it, peel off out the back door. Now Fletcher. It's an interesting game. We've only had two stoppages around the ground this quarter. It's because both teams are playing similar games. Both teams want to control possession 
like this with tempo play, and we're just not getting any stoppages at all. And, Richo, I don't think it's a good sign from the Richmond perspective when you've got Alex Rance and Troy Chapman as your two highest possession winners with 10 touches each. This is where they've got a turnover now. They need to go at the Essendon defenders. Go forward with it. Yeah, they've got one-on-one. -on -one. You can see that's a great shot on screen. You have to just back your forwards in. You've got to use that target, Rance, in the lead-up. Morris. McGuan in front. Trying to protect for the ball. Here's Zaharakis. Probably should have encouraged it to go over the line. Kept it alive. Floston was driven forward in the tackle. And the umpire said no. He didn't dispose of it correctly. It was a tight one. And now Luke. Very tight. Didn't work out for the Tigers then, but nothing makes defenders more nervous than getting caught in one-on-one -on -one situations. Carlo took a long time to get boot to ball, and Jakey King, a tackling specialist, was all over him. Now it's up to Greg to hurt the Bombers to marriage. He wanted to peel off with the handball, but both those that went past really didn't want it. I like a player like that that plays within his capabilities. Now Batchelor, the driving ball again. Jake King and Rewalt. Look at Rewalt saying, I want it in that position. Yeah, this James Hurd. A meter in Not a lot he can do at the moment. It's a pretty patient sort of game by both teams. Myers and Goddard. Watson from Zaharakis. Just not working for the Bombers who have been compressed into their back half here at the moment. One metre. Let's take a look at Jakey, the push up Kings, chase from behind. That's what he's in the side to do, I think, more than anything. If he can lay three or four tackles in the forward half of the ground, he's guaranteed a spot. Bachelor. Gee, I reckon the ball's been in their forward half a lot. That's a loose ish kick. Boston tidying it up for the Tigers. Rant at the back. Beautiful slotting kick to Newman. Basher Hooley wanted to keep going that direction, but Newman said, no, I'm going back to Nahas. And he's got himself a little free as well. Chris Newman's a good Robbie, Robbie. user of the footy by foot. And you can just see, he opened the door up and look at the space here for McGuan to lead into Das. If the kick had been spot on, it would have been perfect. Do you reckon that was out of bounds? Throw it in. I'll go, Robbie. Yeah. Robbie, okay. I've got it. Yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah. Trying to be perfect uh, going inside 50 at the moment, the Tigers. Nothing wrong with getting it in there. Your forwards just want an opportunity to compete. Nine entries each into 50 territory at the moment. Bombers with a goal lead. There's King. Did he get it high? Stanton was the tackle. The umpire said it was OK. No, fine. No problem. No Two prior, steps. says the umpire. Letting it go, the umpires at the moment, that's good. Do that all night, everyone's happy. There's Shane Edwards' socks, and he's wearing the all-black socks uh, tonight, one of the Indigenous players out there, as opposed to the stripes for the rest of his teammates. There he is there, getting the little poker out of the pack. Marriage to Martin. Martin went zigzag and was pinned by Hawking. Got the kick away. Will it be paid? Yes, it will. Luke McGuire's got it. He just presented up, was, was in front. You get a hat kick forward and something happens for you. And I think that's the balance which we've got to get right. They don't want to give the ball back unnecessarily. But that sort of, you know, errant wobbling kick inside uh, 50 is often a dangerous one. And he's shown some good signs like McGuan this year, pushing up, competing hard, and occasionally going back and kicking a goal. Being OK at the set shot. 9-5. Here he is to level up the scores. A relatively simple kick, and he nails it. So scores a level here at the G. Yeah, he's happy with that, Luke McGuan. Reinvented himself in the last 12 months, came back into this Richmond team midway through last year. His career looked to be fading out as a defender, reinvented and been a valuable contributor this year so far. interesting at these centre bounces. Essendon have two players back, not because they're trying to play two back. Richmond's half forwards are rolling right up to the wing. Ivan against Bell Chambers. 
Bombers with the clearance to the contest. Knocked away. Cotchen immediately tackled. Howlett forced him to get rid of it. Toledo came through with some speed and power. Now the Tigers out the back here. Cotchen again will have to go. Comet just got hold of him. Forced him to get rid of it quicker than he wanted. Can the Bombers make them hurt? Goddard's the man to get it done. 48 and closing. Brendan Goddard. Touch right on the line by Newman. Gee, that chase of Comet. That was outstanding. Cotchen looked to be breaking away. Just put enough pressure on. Probably should have resulted in a goal for the Bombers. Tremendous. Made it difficult for the big man. <laughs> the little chip kick backwards wasn't too good. And the two 18s go at it. Bombers by a point. One umpire telling the other umpire to speak up. In the communication link. Against Bell Chambers here to Marich. Big Ivan doing some part-time ruck coaching down at the Colter Cannons factory these days. Loves his role there. Here's McGuan. Got Hibbert under the footy. To get rid of it real quick. Windelick. Beautiful pick up, but he was nailed in a great tackle by McGuan. Zarakis, Carlisle, the finisher here, needs to be perfect. Ryder, will he go? Short ball to Stanton, I thought was never on. Newman thought about the little one to Deledio, decides to go long. Where's Rewald over the top? Vickery, crunching effort. King, now hocking. Oh, Vickery slow to get up. He might have had a bit of an accidental head clash there. Gets to his feet now. Back inside, Hibbert again. The dash of the left boot. That was presented for Cramery to come at the ball. Chaplin had the better body position, though. Jeddah appealing for the free. Newman comes in and makes it difficult for him. Didn't go over it, pushed onto it. There's uh, Ty Vickery, who's got himself back uh, on his feet. Big, big pack formed and good on him. That's the way he's got to attack the footy. Just really throw himself at it. Yeah, wear one every now and then. Opened up the rib cage there and copped one. Comma. Gives the Bombers a chance. Ranch was able to peel off his man and defensively get it to that position. Boys, great contest by Vickery, but as a Richmond, uh, from a Richmond perspective, sorry, the last thing you want is Vickery, McGuan and Rewalt all flying for the same ball deep inside 50. They need to isolate a little bit more. Richmond tonight wearing these specially designed Indigenous jumpers. Ranch with the clearance out wide. Two Bombers here, one of those Bagley. Dempsey just got a little finger there. Stanton with a quick release handball was really impressive. And Dempsey spots up Howler. How good are the players with the quick hands these days? It's one touch footy. There's no time to fumble. And that was an example of it there, Stanton. They do so much of it these yeah. days at training, don't they, Richard? It's, it's repetition and they do it at training so much now. They touch the footies thousands of times a week. And that's the result on match day. So it's all about whether Howland is a little scuffle off the ball here can get the distance with this kick. He's got to keep it from just outside 50. After the quarter time siren. It's on the way. It'll bend left to right. Has it got the wheels? No, it hasn't. Just a little bit going on off the footy here, 2 BT. It was Comet getting into Cotchen. Push up King. Right involved as well as you'd expect here at quarter time. Indeed it is. It is the Bombers by just one point. 2-3-15, Richmond 2-2-14. It's dream time here at the MCG. Tuesday night footy is back. The App Store right now.
They were coming to tonight really considering themselves a chance. With 20-point margin, they're right in this game, but they haven't played well at all. They haven't executed the way they want to play. I, I personally think that they have to throw out the idea of holding on to the footy too much. At times they have to. They've got to be smart, but they've got Jack Rewalt down there. He could kick five in the, in the second half. I think you just got to pull the trigger. You've got to try and get it down there, see if they can get some one-on-ones to their forwards and play a pretty basic game. Well, you have to now because you have to score a lot of goals. You need to kick probably eight or nine goals to have any chance of winning the game in the second half when you're nearly four down at half time. So you've got to throw caution to the wind and play on. The high possession game, holding on to the footy, stacks up around teams near you on the ladder, but when you play the good teams, the pressure can bring that unstuck. Back in the middle, look at the backhander from Ryder. Was simply brilliant, almost didact was Watson, but he got on with it and found Zaharakis. Zaharakis wide, looking for the lead. The ball was a little heavy. Rance did well. Got it to Newman, slipped over now, caught in the tackle, and Howlett, will he make them pay from the boundary? He was winding up for the banana, but the tackle forced the offliner. Dustin Martin started the game at uh, full forward, and there he is now. He's playing the deepest player. Started on Dustin Fletcher. And I don't mind it. I think that's to try something. Two Dustins playing on each other there as Watson comes through, kicks a ball along the ground. I think it's there it is. They get the first of the second half. Well, he's a superstar. An absolute superstar. There's his third goal to go with his 14 disposals. And he just knows how to get the footy around the clearances and to do it in the forward line where you've got so much pressure on you around the stoppages. He's a marvel. He doesn't go to ground. He's so strong through his hips. He shrugs tackles. And he then has the ability with his skill level now to finish it off either foot. He's just a genius, this man. Finds space where no one else can. And his ability to finish now by foot. Three goals already. Once again, he's the most important player on the ground. Heppel now trailing the ball here in the middle. Looked like they just wandered a little more. Koch and Floston and Lonigan are the three inside with Ivan Maric. The one-hander from Carlisle. He's playing more and more like Dustin Fletcher every day. By the way, the two Dustins playing on each other at the moment. Never before in the history have two Dustins even played the game. <laughs> two Dustins. Have you never just before pulled that one out yourself, uh, Bristol? Something yeah. I've been researching over a period of time. Two but Dustins. There's playing. never been two Is Dustins that... in the game ever that have played oh, yeah. AFL VFL footy. You're serious. It's a fact, Richo, and they're playing on each other at the moment. How remarkable is that? Here's Hibbert. Got it onto Stanton. A chiseler to the lead of Cramery. Couldn't quite make it work, Bachelor. Little shovel handball. Deledio held the kick. Floston, Nahas, Jackson, all handballs in that chain. Now Jackson with a hammering kick. He's put Jake King in a little bit of space. He's trying to work badly over, takes him on, and those little stumpy legs gave way when they were needed most. There he is, the oldest man playing the game. And when he's standing loose like that, it's not a good sign. He'll if he one. runs his own race, he'll mop up every time. And one of only two Dustins to play the game, Richo. The oldest Dustin to ever play the game. <laughs> yep. Uh, remarkable. And as I said before, a 20-year reunion, of course, last Thursday for Dustin Fletcher, who actually played in that 1993 Premiership. Right up. Little flicker over the back. He was actually looking for Heppel there. Goddard. Thought about Stanton. Just makes really good decisions, Brendan Goddard, and that's... What modern footballers do these days. Here's Cochin to Hooley. Hooley goes sideways in preference over Nahas. Griggs handball hung in the air a little bit. Forced Hooley to get rid of it to Nahas. Around the corner, high ball in the head of Morris. Got it, though. Centre half forward for the Tigers. Here comes Big Ivan. Got in the way. The little man, Howard. Melksham being subbed into the game as the sub for the Bombers, replacing Hurley. Cramery just let that one go. Not sure what happened there. Bachelor, soccer off the ground from Hocking, went straight at it, Rance, and caught high from Melksham. Just starting to spread better, too, now. The Bombers, the start of this quarter on the transition. We'll kick back in. And that's been the problem for the Tigers. Their kicks have been turned over under extreme pressure. I'm not sure they're the team to play the keepy-off game at half-back. Just at the moment. 
under such intense pressure from the Bombers. Bachelor took him on and he got pinned. Stay. Play on. Dempsey to Hibbert. Frankie King just puts his body in there. No going in with the hands with Jake. It's body or nothing for Jake. Myers spun out of the pack. Unusual handball. Jakey King. He had a bit of Bruce Lee about him there. The Karate King. Kung Fu. Jakey. Some worrying signs again to start the second half for Richmond. Meter, it's just One meter. owning the space at the moment. The Bombers just look so Four. much as a block that will go Paddy Ryder's way. He blocked him. Van. Can't believe it. Watson. Little ball to Melcham. Melcham on the left and another one. Two in a couple of minutes here for the Bombers. Jakey Melcham is the sub. Activated for Michael Hurley. And he gets involved in the play immediately. Really are just starting to dominate here, the Bombers. One in, guys. Set up. Here's the sub, Melksham. The man who came on for Michael Hurley and immediate impact. Just Watson's body strength there to shrug off France, win the contested footy. Touch feet. He just makes his teammates better. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Almost out to the biggest margin of the game, 32 points here now. And they are playing a real collective game of football here. Hibbard to comma pursued by Newman. Newman and Floston there, but Floston no urgency to get over and help Newman there. Just trailed in without any real Nick. authority. Nick. What the fuck, mate? I'm walking back here. Well, wow. and an interesting night tonight. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Vickery. They have their advantages and disadvantages. Oh, so oh, Tackled high, Heppel. That's it, Dyson. Hmm. Right out. Come out. Come out now. Cotchen. 70 metres from home. Lost him. Well, I just reckon it, Leroy. you just pull pull the trigger and get it in there now. You can't find a target. Move There's big men in there. You've got to just get it in. Here comes Rewalt. He's given the opportunity to jump at the footy. Gee, Paddy Ryder had it covered. And as I said a little earlier, Richard, when you don't do metres. it, 50 metre Paddy Ryder will come all the way to the middle of the ground. Forwards lose confidence and, and you stop leading, you stop running as hard because you're second guessing whether or not the footy's going to come. And that, it was Jack Rewalt there. He's looking up, going, I'm not sure it's going to come my way. And, and even when it did, there was a massive pack yet to contend well, with. Yeah, well, that's the challenge for the forwards, to keep leading in that instance and just try and draw some players out of the hole there. Bombers, just, it's, it's just a little bit too easy at the moment. Well, the quarter-by-quarter quarter inside 50s that we just saw, Richmond only had 17 at half-time, only two so far in this third quarter. One metre! Probably temperature starting to rise in that box. Gee, right at, got hit in the eye then. He drew out of that as Howlett was dragged down by a Nine. couple of Tigers. OK, now Paddy. I just got a clash of legs. Bond doing the ruck work this time, but really the Tigers not that interested in getting the ball out of here at the moment. Yeah, I think David Harbour will be Thanks, just disappointed with a lack of real aggressive, competitive intent at the moment as well, Richard. Looking around, seeing just someone with an act. Trent Cochin gets his clearance. He's battling his heart away, but there's not been a real spark at all tonight. Vickery. In the path of Cochin, but he had a couple pursuing Heppel and Winderlich. Now he sucked it back and he must get rid of it. The umpire's giving him the benefit of the doubt. And it's just simple little skill errors that lo like that that just make it so much harder. When they've got an opportunity to hit a teammate, they need to make it count so they can actually get some scoreboard pressure going. Kick seven of the last eight goals, the Bombers. Starting to absolutely dominate this one now. Newman. Still only 32 points. Foley, you reckon if the Tigers 
by three quarter time could strip yep. it back to 20 points 15 points that would give them some chance but they don't look like it at the moment Rance, nice kick, finds Hooley. And then you're down at ground level. It just seems to me that the Richmond group at the moment look flat. There doesn't seem to be spark. It seems to be pretty quiet down there. Is, is that the sense you're getting? Yeah, uh, Darcy, I think it's a bit of that uh, perceived pressure too, that each time they get the footy, they want to take the game on at times, just like that. But then as soon as they feel, feel the nerves a little bit, the heat a little bit, they just go back and they go safe. And this sort of thing going back and back and back is playing into Essendon's hands. They're able to squeeze. And they're, they're peeling off the guys that can't kick it that well. Jackson, Rance, Chaplin, these guys. And they're denying the really good kicks of the footy, like Hooley here, possession of the yeah. footy. Smart play, BT. They've done their homework, Essendon. Yeah. But then Hooley had the football and no one led at him. So you've got to sometimes put the onus on the players up the field to move and create give something to kick to and Hawley had nothing on that occasion Stay. turned it over and Stay. Bombers have got a real Ready chance out. here now Wingerlick to drive it long Cramer he's going to mark this really easily to see the difference in that kick though it was just saying okay that wasn't actually a genuine lead he said I'll put it to the dangerous area I know my forwards will run and we'll get a contest and as it turned out he got an easy contest, Cramery, then just through a bit of work rate, being prepared to pull the trigger and kick it long. And Darcy, uh, the lower and flatter kick oh, yeah. in too. It wasn't the yeah. high loopy one yeah. that allowed the pack to congregate. Just low and flat, let Cramery run and jump at it. It takes a mark. Yeah, nice pickling here as Cramery comes in for his second goal and a 38-point bomber lead. And he's got it, even though he leaned back a little. Yeah, nice mark. From Cramery, but it was the kick that drew him into that little fat side. He did a nice back lead, knew where the football was going to go. It was well thought out, finished off. Let's get down to the dock. Uh, Paddy Ryder, dock, how is he? Well, he's been. Uh monitored for the last uh, he got a little bit of knock on the outside of the left leg he's going to be in this ruck contest they've been concerned they've left him out there but he's not as mobile as he needs to be a special indigenous pair of boots on there Paddy Ryder as well an attempt by Lonigan handball comes to Floston gets a really quick look from 45 and he made it look really easy Floston well done for the Tigers well, there's a little spark there's something you need a fifth game and Nick Floston who's looked really exciting in his first debut in his debut season I should say former Vic Metro captain in 2012 in all Australia and hopefully this will be something that ignites the Tigers who are struggling here tonight Sammy Lonigan to Edwards to Floston and he's a nice composed player for a 19-year-old in his first season. He normally makes the right decision. Different looking forward line for the Bombers at the moment. They've got Ryder and Myers down there. Cramery off the ground, of course. Hurley subbed out of the game with that ankle. That degree of difficulty in the handball from Watson made look easy. Hocking to Comma. Comma was deliberate with the footy, but Rance peeled off nicely. Brett Deledio has gone to half back. Hocking has followed him and Deledio needed to defend then, didn't do it. Now this is where they need to go a little bit. Watson was able to intercept that time. It's probably the wrong kick in the end, but Dempsey now to open up through Hawking, gives it to Jetta. Jetta confronted by King. Bell Chambers involved. Handball comes back here to Goddard. Goddard now almost cut off by Bachelor. Couldn't hold it, Stanton. He's claiming it, but the umpire said no. Play on Bachelor. Foley to Hooley. Now, will they go or will they go into this slow play at halfback? Yeah, they're going into the slow play again, BT. And Basher Hooley's a good kick. He was just an halfback. He actually didn't even open up his vision into the corridor at all to see if there was an option. He just and almost lazily he... just picked one off to the side. And guess who was left to Boys, kick Boys, you can Jackson. see Matty White just going for the contest there. He's been subbed onto the ground. Type Vickery is the man who's been subbed off. 
Well, he can create some run, Matty White, and they've taken a tall off for a small, so he may give them some run, get them moving forward. Gone 10 minutes earlier than perhaps they normally would with the sub here. So Damien Hardwick trying absolutely everything to instill some sort of buzz in his outfit. Uh, Doc Larkins uh, getting uh, taped up down there at the moment, Paddy. Yeah, we said he wasn't moving well. They left him out there, but he uh, he wasn't able to change direction with that ankle. So two ankles, Hurley out of the game, and Ryder will be limited, getting it restrapped. Foley. So here's another little opportunity. There's the sub white. Turns around, gets Rewald a one on one. Carlo, how good. He's a star, that man, yeah. Jackie Carlo. How he good. He's just playing the house down. If you, you need to move on Carlo, he's so good one on one. And if you don't, you play into his hands. Look at that. Floston was going to handle to Rance and then saw he had a man right on him. So he, he tried to win back his own footy. Wide again, ordinary kick. Hibbard got it in the end. Love the way the Bombers are denying the better kickers in the Richmond outfit the footy and forcing others that, you know, they're still above average, but not quite good enough to penetrate the middle of the ground. Here's Flost and he has a crack. Sticks it down the throat of Dempsey. Well, at least he took a chance. And he's down Flost and behind the play as well. In the meantime, the ball comes out to Bagley. He can get clean possession, he's away. Morris made no ground on him. Spearing ball into Stanton, another one that he didn't get hold of. Recovers, back here. Myers, thrown on his back. And he will have expelled some air there. Yeah, there'll be some expulsion there, Bristol. And the Brisbane fans at least can get up out of their chair because Troy Chapman's come in and made a bit of a statement. And that's been the other thing lacking for me, is just a massive night, huge crowd, home game. I'd like to have seen a little bit more of that from the competitive Richmond side. Well, Chambers with the don't argue on Jackson. Quick little hands from Floston was, was clever. Just a little bit of this something happening in this game at the moment. Is it going to work out for the Tigers? Look at this man, he's all muscle. Kick inside 50. Martin's Come got to beat a couple. Fletcher's won. Went to ground Fletcher. Left Lonigan standing, a bit of a loopy handball. Winderlich did well to cut off White. Just sensing a little ignition here of something at the moment. Just a little flicker of a spark. Got to make it count on the scoreboard. Dempsey almost threw it out the back door to Howlett. Good Jeez. control. He's been really good this quarter, Dempsey. Won a tight ball, got it out for his teammate, gives him a chance to move forward. And two on one, and Rance put himself under pressure. The bachelor, got to be good, he is to Grigg. The run here now. Floston it was, little ball into Lonigan. Turns around, tries to get Jack or McGuan to come at the footy. McGuan did, Hooker did well, not that fan! Oh boy, Luke wanted to wind up and whack him! He went with the big round! Had a bit of Neil Barber about it in the uh, oh, frustration. He said, I'm going to clout this guy. Well, good umpiring, too. Didn't pay the silly reversal then. We've seen no. them paid in the past. It was he got well, halfway through it and he withdrew. It's McGuan, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> bit of like he about it. Throw a couple of haymakers there, Luke McGuan. And it was going to be a big moment at the G. McGuan almost lost the plot. There's Jack Revolt uh, having a little okay, spell on the bench. Oh. <laughs> Just a couple of round arms there. From Luke McGuan, oh, as you said. And Luke. the knee and the head, the right hook on Hooker, and then the knee and the head from Luke McGuan. I reckon he's all sharp bone. Boy, oh boy. Just the level of frustration was an indication of all Tigers at the moment, I reckon, including their supporters. In the meantime, the Bombers with a sizzler to Zaharakis. Fingertip and no good. Recovery very good. Left foot, Watson. It's a, it's a real contrast down either end. Every time the Bombers move forward, they have players prepared to hit up at the ball carrier, and it opens up space behind. We see the hit up there from Zaharakis. Didn't mark the footy. He was able to win it at ground level. Turn around. He's got Watson coming at him. This to kick four goals for the first time in his career. Joe Watson. 30 metres out. Oh, shining it up like Michael Holding yeah. there. <laughs> Directly in front, the special Indigenous ball. Look at the hold, it's unusual. 
Watson comes in. And he has missed to the right-hand side. What a start, Joe Watson. Is he in better form in round nine than he was this time last year? I oh, know it's hard to, to remember. But I can't imagine he's uh, playing any worse than last year. I reckon he's gone to a new level, which is just unbelievable. If the Bombers keep winning, he's going to be their be first or second From best player every memory, week. From memory, he got votes in 12 of his first 13 games last year, Dar, so... We've seen a fair bit of them on Saturday Night Footy. He, yep. he has to be right back around that yep. mark. He, he's just been incredible. Average is 30 disposals. He's always in the top two or three, and if the Bombers are winning, that means Brownlow votes for him. Yep, and he's kicking goals on a regular basis. Ryder, Marich, win to the Bombers here. Neutral territory, still just 33 points. It's a low-scoring night, but the Bombers haven't been able to absolutely put the lid on the bin tonight. Stanton, but they are very, very close to blowing this one to smithereens, the Bombers. Hold there, Jacko! And the Tigers need to hold and hold tight. It needs to be within reach. It is at the moment. 33 is nothing in the modern game. Jackson inside 50. Massive, massive crowd here tonight. Lee, well, question to you. How far can this Essendon side go this year? We've been speaking a lot about the off-field distraction. Do you think that they're on track to, to win a final or... or go all the way into the top four? Uh, a lot more than win a final, Dar, so I think uh, Essendon are well and truly the real deal. They are a quality football team. So good with their skills, so good with their pressure. Uh, they can make a genuine run at it this year, and I think they were good against Geelong, but just went down. Uh, if they take a couple more big scalps over the next month or two, they'll get a lot of belief as well, and that'll push them right into finals. Yeah, I agree with you, Lee. I think they Got a lot of elements right, haven't they? This man here, Carlisle's oh. defender, is just a super player. Ah, uh, gets the free kick on this occasion. Yes. Pushed him into the oncoming. Pushed him into the oncoming traffic, said the umpire. Robert Nahas, a, who just joined us, late replacement for Brandon Ellis, who was a scratching after his 39 possession effort last week. Nahas, here comes Rewald, he's caught deep though. Managed to uh, bring the footy to the ground, it's a good tackle, forced Howard. Well, Hibbert it was, in fact, to get rid of it. Newman with a little kick, look at the numbers back here for the Bombers. They can peel left or right, Newman. whichever the way they want to go. Yeah, and they're out now, big bell chambers on the wing. And they're out further with Cramery. Jake King locks him down, though. Melksham put, took his eye off the ball momentarily. Rant, just like a tractor, ran over the top of him. And now Martin. Little ball to Nahas. Got a stick, and I tell you what, winding up here at the moment. Drawing handball. Gave it to Martin on the rewild of the lead. Tigers get this, and they're back within 27. I reckon Richmond have come you, through the middle of the ground twice. And on both occasions, they've hit Jack Rewald yep. up on a lead one-on-one. -on -one. And the first one was the first goal of the game. And it just makes so much more sense. They look a completely different side when they take the risk. Sometimes they'll come unstuck, but you would rather see them uh, die and get beaten having uh, taken the game on. Stay with us, Tiger fans. He gets this. It's back to 27. Still three minutes in the third. It is back on for Tiger fans. Rewalt kicks the goal. Second of the game. He says, come on. We're within 27. Yeah, nice finish by Jack Rewalt. Das is spot on. If you get the ball into the middle of the ground, it just opens up the 50 for the forward line to lead into. And nice finish from Dustin Martin. And Jack led into it nicely. Well, it is still game on here oh. at the MCG. I wouldn't be going anywhere because they are capable, Richmond, if they play that sort of aggressive attacking footy of scoring quickly. They've dried up the Bombers scoring, Dars. One goal in 20 minutes for Essendon. Richmond have kicked the last two. The big guns in the middle. Look at that. Martin, Foley and Deledio. And got the clearance as well, Richmond. They're fighting on here, getting back. Great mark taken by Hibbard. That was a huge mark because that hit the ground level. 
The Tigers had numbers. He's, he's developed here better as a player. Now Rewalt's going to put pressure on him. He's making him kick the ball one way and he made him shove it down the throat of Goddard. Really disappointing there, Richmond. They had the ball locked in. They just couldn't let that easy out. Just a simple mark relieves the pressure for the Bombers. Now they're going to lock it in here. Try and get some repeat entries. Now they've done that. Now it's a difficult angled kick to Watson, but he used his body well under Lidio. Oh, look at this. Sets up Howlett. Gets a look from 35. Kick on the way. Bombers hit back. Ah, uh, well, cometh the man at Lingy was just pleading for the Tigers to keep it locked in, get it to a one-on-one -on -one contest. Joe Watson used his body beautifully, worked Aledio under the ball, and just had the poise then to finish it off. That man Howlett gets the goal on the scoreboard, but it was created by the captain, Joe Watson. Richmond were making a charge. They kicked a couple in a row. Enter the superstar okay. captain, Joe Watson. Have a look at the vision. He beat the Lydia hands down in one-on-one -on -one and then was 100% responsible for that. Brilliant play. Nice work. Foley in and under. Had to get rid of it. He would have been penalised then. Great release. Handball. Heppel to Hocking. Hocking goes inside 50. Tigers can't afford to concede one here. Newman driven forward in the tackle. Well, Watson has kicked the goal himself this quarter. He set up Melksham's goal. He set up Howlett's goal with direct goal assists. Just no, he just senses the moment and produces when he has to. Minute 30 remaining in the quarter. Jackson's been paid a dubious mark. So Watson's had 15 contested possessions out of his 22, three goals. No one else on the ground has had double figures. And Das, I don't think he's fumbled the ball once for the entire night. Just incredible. <laughs> and now we're now it's, it's just nice follows when it's him. kicked right to you as yeah. well. And that last kick was an example of why Essendon want certain players kicking the footy in the back half, forcing them to do that. Stanton centering ball, Newman gets back. Yeah, I'm oh, with you, go. Bruce. What's a real issue Richmond have got is that there are certain players in their side that. With ball in hand, you're very, very nervous about, and it, it limits your options, doesn't it? You, you're always worried about who's exiting with the footy. Big Barnes got to do the road work. Ryder was. Cheddar almost got through. Can Dempsey get through? And as you said, opposition sides are smart enough, and the players are good enough to actually sift off, like someone like a, a, a Chapman, and say, we're happy for you to kick the footy. We'll actually draw back. And we'll uh, man up hard on your, on your good kicks, and that's happened a lot tonight. It hasn't been by accident. David Myers just checking where the man on the mark is, which is the professional thing to do, just to make sure you don't run out of runway on your approach. Umpires have given away blowing the, miss the whistle for 15 during the setup, which is good, Das. That is good. Myers now comes in. Kick on the way is offline. Marich needs to concede this, and he does. So that point will count, it will, there it is. A 34-point Essendon lead here at three-quarter time. Not out of the realms of possibility in modern-day footy for the Tigers to get back in this one. Stay with us. The Bombers by 34 points. 11-9-75 to the Tigers, 6-5-41. Essendon's favour. They really have uh, dominated inside 50s, 45 to 28. Oh. And in some ways, the margin is uh, a little closer than you would expect. That's Trent Kotcher. He's gone to full forward. Back in the middle. Stanton, a little give to Heppel. Chaplin. That is play on. That is definitely play on to the Tigers' advantage, almost forcing them to go forward. Was that decision? Nahas. Hipple doesn't come at him, lets him kick. Fletcher's got the sit here at the back. Rewalk three deep off hands, Cotton. Quick goal. Tigers away. Oh, good. First goal of the year, Richard. That is. I was just going to say that, Bristol, with first goal for the season. Good move, Damien Hardwick. Put him to full forward. That resulted in just quick movement of the football. You get. Uh, 
Luck goes your way when you decide to move the ball quickly. Chaplin played on from half back. He tried to con the umpire in the end, but at least it created players moving forward and the, the play on. And Cochin finishes it off with a goal. We had the class there and the understanding of the game. It was a really poor kick for him on his head. Last thing he wanted with Fletcher, but he turned around and got front and centre and then just with one step, they would have bend it around. And I like the move. I'd love him in the midfield. They need him uh, in every part of the ground, but why not play him as a small full forward? Back in the middle, Dempsey. So the Tigers have kicked three of the last four goals in this game. Hocking, they've had the answer to the Bombers. What do they find here? Stanton Long. Chaplin slips over, but bad bounce for Bell Chambers. Got rid of it in the nick of time. Marriage, funny little handball, but it was good. Rance. He was handballing to no one then, and he did it really well because he didn't have much on. Hold there, hold there. Jetta was hunting the footy there. He would have ended up getting that. It was good pressure from Jetta. So that's what Bastian hulley has got in front of him. You can just see that it's not a heap of run and an option for him, so he's got no choice but to go long. Watson got a deliberate little footy there. Well spoiled by Ranch without offending Comma. Trying to keep it alive, did well. Now Stanton gets a really good look around the corner and he kicks the goal. Got the good efforts from Alex Rance there. His first boil was fantastic. Got up and tackled. Third tackle was good, but just sheer weight of numbers. Didn't have enough support around him to be able to hold on. And Stanton, he's missed a couple of opportunities tonight, but has been a very, very good player again. Stanton gets his first here early in the final quarter. Just the delight of the fans in the background. It's up to 27 now, Brent Stanton, and he just gets that through his work rate. Continues to work hard. Jackson did well to get rid of it in the end. The player gave him every opportunity. So Foston staying back with his man then, rather than to spoil. Hooley combining with Edwards. Martin trying to push Hibbert off the way, but he's really strong, Hibbert. Hooley did well to soccer to the advantage of Lonigan, but Dempsey also doing well in the strength department. And there's the man that initially started at all. He's a good player here, but that's off the boot again. Well, play on, play on. Got the opportunity here, but he's just continually got better over the last few seasons, and he's becoming it's not far off being an elite defender at the moment. Gee, Goddard's been good for the Bombers this year too, hasn't he? Yeah, really good player for them. That's, that's the thing you love about what James Hurd is doing, the coaching staff in essence. You look right around their list and you see improvement in almost every player. Hibbert, he's a 25% better player almost yeah. than he was two years ago. Uh, Howlett, you can see on screen. Melksham's improved. Heath Hawking's wow. improved. There's no wow. one really stagnating on their list. There's great competition for spots and they are a very, very good side. Trying to work it forward was Windelik Jetta with a few really good foot moves and then he goes for a real difficult one and sprayed it across the face. Just got great structure around the football at the moment. The Bombers, they've got their great inside winners and obviously Watson is the best in the business at that 15 contested tonight. And they're playing Goddard to his, his strengths. He's at 25 tonight, 23 uncontested. It, it doesn't matter, you want him getting it on the outside because he's such an elite finisher. And, just structured it up well, James Hurd. Floston through the middle of the ground, looks behind and says, I can take him on, or was it White? Might have been the ladder, and White it was. Free kick will go to way here against the Bombers to Cotchell. So what we've been talking about all night was in a quick play on through the middle of the ground. It was run and overlap, Matt White, the sub came on, and a little bit of class forward, Trent Cotchell drew the free kick. Cotchell to get it back under 30 points here. His first goal of the year, oh early in this last quarter. This one from 50 metres out will not be a goal. Ewald trying to use his body to get Carlisle under the footy. Hibbert 
Dempsey back into the sign for Essendon this week to Melksham. I can't remember one free kick tonight where we've gone, oh, that was a bit ticky touch foot. It's been... Leave it on! We've had to earn them and it's been consistent all night. It's really good umpiring. We had a change of philosophy yeah, in the last two weeks. Yeah, if we have, I love it. Keep doing it. Yeah, it's spot on at the moment. Finally got it right, haven't they? The, the, all the, the technical the ones are gone, yeah. aren't they, BT? Yeah, absolutely. Play on! Oh, you're going to get any arguments from anyone. It's really good. Really good the way they're doing it at the moment. Rewalt going for a bit of a press as he was pushed up into that. Jaws. No, Jack. <laughs> was Jack trying to say he was oh, sorry, pushed no, into yours, that? <laughs> well, I think he felt that he had some contact from behind, well, but there was, there was there. no one there. Well, it must have been the invisible man. That is playing all over him there. That's comical, isn't it? <laughs> it's amazing what you can tell yourself yeah. out on the ground, isn't it? Not a lot of you in it, that Richo. Bit oh, of, yeah, well, bit of, just a, well, no, a lot of you. Well, what do you mean? Well, just, you know, a bit of sort of... A bit of remonstrating the umpire, big uh, I can, Richo man. I can remember a peanut at Victoria Park carrying on like that. Flosten. <laughs> it was yeah. B. Taylor. Now Nahas. 60 from home, 35 points. Tigers oh. desperate to get it under the 30 to launch an attack. And they're going to get it here through marriage. You notice our man Bristol's carrying himself a bit more strut tonight. He's uh, voting on the Yayukin uh, Award tonight, which is the best on best on ground for three, two, one. No, we're all collectively voting on it, Dust. So why have you got the sheet of paper? He he likes to be made to feel important. He does. Bryce, uh, voting on behalf of the team. That's the way I do things here. You may want to do it by yourself, but this to get it back to 29 points. Oh boy, Ivan. Slugs it to the left. It's normally a pretty good set shot at goal. Big Ivan, but just walked up to that one. Didn't have much momentum through it. Now. Hey, would you? Yeah, oh, you're not going to tell us. You want it to be a secret, obviously. Oh, it's been pretty obvious who's been pretty outstanding here tonight, Richo. But here's Heppel. Clobbered by Foley in the tackle. The umpire said it was fair. Might have got a little in the back of Hebel there. Tell so what, Hibbert would have to be sneaking up there. He's had a great night. Been really good. He's been great all year, Hibbert. And the Rony Brownlow medalist is going to be pretty hard to overlook. I don't want to influence the vote. Uh, well, you will be. Nahas. Caught with the footy. There he is, Watson. He's been rather brilliant tonight. 23 touches, three goals, one for him. Straight up. Needs a goal for his personal best ever. Goal tally of four. One meter. He's had three goals himself, but directly assisted three or four more. So he's been involved in over half Essendon's goals. Goddard's decisions Yours. are just absolutely classy. Forward was taken over the line by Basha Hulley. It looks so dangerous, Essendon, when they run back in space. He's got ours decision making, and that's an underrated skill that lengthy handball to space. But their speed running back towards goal, Essendon, has been exciting tonight. Lovigan debuting for the Tigers tonight. Coming off the rookie list, I think, Richard, didn't he? Yeah, he was upgraded last week. Yep. Gee, Hooley did well to keep that off the deck. It was a difficult handball to control, and the Tigers have ran themselves into real trouble here. It's going to be the brute Martin that can get him out of trouble, and he gives the way a free. In the back, Dempsey. Martin's appealing for the taking of the legs there. Try back on. Wow. Ah, once again, a penetrating ball forward. Mary really had no interest in winning the footy. Fair enough, lost him. Rance, now White, sub tonight, activated Good. in the absence of Vickery. Hands in the back. Oh, got the hands in the back of Hubert. Well. Stanton in the tackle, Rance, well. Nahas did well, bundled the ball out to Grigg now. Can they go from here? Rewalt or has got the footy in the middle of the ground. Looks for Cochin on the lead. McGuan handball was not out in front of Hooley. Had to come back and get it. 
Now McGuan's got it. Little chip footy was not so good either. And Rewalt, clever little soccer back to McGuan, who's got to go for the third time in a row. Hooley, the fourth time for McGuan in about a 20-second period. Cochin, off-hands, got the front and centres here. Nahas, Dempsey just went and got it. Don't underestimate how good Dempsey's been tonight. Hibbert and Dempsey running off half-back. They've been really good. Oh, boy! Floston met solidly. Umpire said nothing in it. He recovers. Play on. Heppel out the back. Play Stanton. On. Umpire said play on. No touch of the head. Delidio to Edwards. Tackled as he went to kick. <laughs> Floston's attack on the footy using the, the head. The umpire said he deliberately engaged. Yeah, did nothing there. Joyce, uh, the hard stuff, though, I think, Nick Floster. That's it, Jake. I wonder that's part of what we're enjoying about the umpiring is that, that two weeks ago, I reckon, would have been paid high, and I think Heath Hocking was trying to actually avoid contact. There was a little bit of contact, nothing untoward. But it just seems like common sense, umpiring. Yep, does. You're not going to argue with a little technical one that's paid that maybe changes the game. What yeah. you are concerned about is the reverse, is that... You want to see it played on more. This has been the Bombers' style tonight. Really breaking hard from half-back. Melcham. Caught with the footy. The advantage will be paid here. Foley with a couple of bounces off half-back. Could have given the handball to Hooley. He says, why not? But probably because Hooley was running onto his wrong right side. Now King to Grigg, who's also running onto his wrong side. See. Just see BT's pulled the pen out there. It's starting to put the votes in already, I think. No, I'm not. I'm just... Uh, it's 12 minutes to go, Bruce. Are you? Yeah. I'm sure you're taking this responsibility seriously. McGuan. Actually, 10 minutes to go. Uh, if you look at the clock, that shot by McGuan has clipped the post, I think. But it has. And the Tigers within 33 <laughs> points, Das. <laughs> I can see some ink on that bit of paper, Brian. It's too early yet. We've got 10 minutes to go. <laughs> oh, fair no, I'm, I'm with you, BT. I'm with you all the way. I reckon the best players on the ground have already been decided because they were the best when the game was there to be won. Yes, uh, Lingy, I oh, would have... Uh, Lingy, that's common sense. sense. We don't want that up here at the moment. <laughs> Melksham. Sorry, mate. To Heppel. Any possession from here on has probably got a little bit of junk written about it. <laughs> Richo and Das. Stanton through the middle, been ultra impressive tonight to Ramery. One, I think, from here in the first quarter. In fact, oh, similar line. position. He's, he's got nothing in front of him. He just needs to wait. Richmond have got about four players loose. Com is the only man back. 84,234 here tonight. The third time for a home and away game this year, the Tigers have drawn over 80,000, 84,234 tonight. Morris just in the nick of time to Floston. Remarkable revitalization, revitalization of the club by Brendan Gale. I just forgot one syllable there, Dar, so I'll just add that in. Invented a word there, uh, um, Look at that. Re no, it's a good point, though, BT. Yeah, he's done a good job, Benny Gale, in his time as CEO. He has indeed. Wouldn't be happy with the result here, though. White, looking for a runner with some juice. Edwards ignored Martin after he almost ran over the top. And TJ uh, Batchelor could have gone from home, but he hung it up there for Basher Hooley. Pretty clever kick, that, from Jakey Batchelor, because he always played on short, and that's going to come off to uh, Edwards directly in front should go back and score but bachelor weighed that up he's actually running on the wrong angle for a left footer would have had to straighten up and might have got caught so he waited a nice ball they've looked so good richmond the small amount of times that they've overlapped run and just hasn't happened enough tonight edwards lines up for goalie to get it back under 30 points you're unbelievable, you two. <laughs> Look at this, directly in front, kicks the goal for the Tigers. Their second in the last quarter.
Well, that's the game open up. Richmond have been able to find a little bit more run in this last quarter, but the damage was done, and the Bombers had probably dropped off a little bit in their tackle intensity. Richmond have been able to get a bit over it. Overlap. It's resulted in a few goals, but the game was there to be won. They were elite. Forced Richmond into mistakes. So a 27-point margin here with seven and a half minutes. I'm going to put it to you, boys. 27 points, seven and a half minutes. Come on. Absolutely rule them out. Go on, I dare you. Uh, well, five goals. It was a lot in seven minutes. The modern right. footy, it could be done. But All right, well, if we uh, kick one here, I wonder what you'll be saying. If, well, Chris, I, I, I love so. your ability to... And I would be hanging around because it's worth seeing the rest of this game. There's some great stuff to look forward to, but they're not going to win from here. That, that, ask you to that ain't going to happen. <laughs> Belt Chambers, Ivan and Jack Rewalt in amongst it here. Jackson quickly released the boot. Nahas will run on here, but Myers is there. Needs to be careful. Did really well to get it to Goddard. Hibbert's been sensational. Edwards, the pressure. Round the corner, Mark. Richo, this to get it to 21. Oh, well, smart by Dustin Martin. He's and sensing the moment. He knows Richo, quick goals this needed. to get it to 21 with seven minutes on the clock. That's right, BT. 21 points. He's got to kick the goal yet, but he's done the right thing and hurried up. This will mean they've kicked five of the last seven goals, the Tigers. Martin kicks the goal. They're back within 21. Yeah, thought that well. Dustin Martin knows that the odds are against with time, but got back and kicked it quickly. Shane Edwards has got involved in the last few goals. He's a the player they need in that side, that forward 50, when he's not running through the midfield. He needs to create things at ground level, and he did on that occasion. Twenty-one points with six and a half minutes remaining, Richo. Well, for your fairy tale to happen, Brian, you would need a clean clearance here and a goal. Let's see what happens. Out of the middle, the Bombers are going to get on the end of it. Stanton kicks long. Hooley's there. Punch off hands. Rance tries to keep it alive. And Joe Watts says deliberate. I don't think so, Joe. Well, well, either way, boys, both teams are going to want to finish this game with a bit of form. They've got huge games next week each. Essendon have got Sydney and Sydney and Richmond West Coast in Perth. So both teams will want to take form into those games. Got hard to Stanton. Stanton been really good tonight as well. White and Melksham, the two subs clashing there. Kept the arms free, Lonigan did really well. Edwards, here they go. Who Cotchen through the middle of the ground. Pursued by Dempsey. Kick was not great. Gave Carlisle an opportunity. Martin and Rewalt have a look at this through the middle of them. Don't tell me. Jack's gone with a skyscraper. The mark will count. The smallest man in the world is underneath it. Dustin Martin around a corner. Got it again. Oh, it's hit the post. Well, the man, 20. the man that's been involved, Shane Edwards, again at half back, got the quick release handball that set that forward play in motion through Cotchen. 84,000 in the house, uh, BT, and they're sensing, I think, what you're sensing. No one is going anywhere just yet. There's a few early levers that have gone that may well kick themselves and just jumping in the cars and might be starting to wander back now, I reckon. Well, Joe Watson is at full forward, one out in the 50. Now the Bombers intelligently trying to run a bit of time off the clock here with some use. Yeah, I reckon if Richmond kicked another one, Chobe would be out of that 50 pretty quickly and up into the middle. Bombers haven't won for near on three weeks. Heppel dangerously near the boundary line. Given that some chance, although out of bounds, no. In fact, it'll be a behind. So 21 points again, the margin. Go forward. Oh, oh Lonigan, he just had a meltdown there, didn't he? I mean, he just didn't understand what was going on behind him. You went him. that way. Oh, oh, no, you went that way. Up the line. Up the is explaining it was play on. He's uh, arguing the point, Sam Lonigan, but they really just had to get going up the middle of the ground. And 
Great effort from Leroy Jenner. That, that and just that's, about ends it there, I think. And that's what he's there for, Darson. A few times tonight, he hasn't laid tackles, but his intensity to chase has forged bad decisions, and that time he gets rewarded. Done a lot of good stuff for the Bombers, and that was another. Which, <laughs> there is Jenner. Oh, boy. 22 points. That was to seal the game. Well, you just got to play on. You got to kick long here, down the middle, get some play on. You can see Marich setting up down the middle. You just have to go for it. Go a yep. barrel down the middle. He's going the big long top, Lingy. He's got it really centrally located. Dempsey did well to get in amongst the Tigers there. Windelick now. If they can get a mark here, the Bombers, they can drain the clock. Windelick goes for the all or nothing attitude. Getting back. Mark almost taken there by Stanton. Thought about the kick at goal. Fast handball release, Jeddah. Little ball, not 15, said the umpire. Myers has to hook it around the corner and over the shoulder. High ball! Kramer, he's taken the mark. And watch him professionally finish this off. This favours his left foot. It's time on, it's time on, you can't go. He missed one of these earlier. You wouldn't Thank think you. he'd make that same mistake Ups again. Up, it's like he's going the different approach this time. He normally faces the infield, yep. but what's he doing here? The quick run around play on, yes, with the left footer. That's beautifully executed by Kramer. I think Troy Chapman won't enjoy seeing the replay of that one. He just had to smash that footy through. He was there in time. He was coming across to lend some support for his mate, Alex Rance. And just didn't get a piece of it. We really needed to get his big frame in line with the ball and take it across the line. Bombers back out to 28 points. I don't think Troy Chapman's going to enjoy seeing that replay. If you're no. a proud defender, you just have to body line that one. Take Cramery's body with you and the footy. Yeah, just a disappointing one there. Massive tick of approval here by the crowd tonight to attend dream time in astonishing numbers. 84,000 as the Bombers go on a mini rampage. Missing here, Stanton. But it is a real tick for this is an event, isn't it, Das? It's almost uh, grand final, Anzac Day, and now this is right up there as the marquee home and away game of the year. And I love it. It's a great celebration of our game and our Indigenous uh, brothers who, who play it in, in such an incredible fashion. Don't just tackle him to the ground. Play on. Jackson, really wide, finds Lonigan. One by Fletcher, the ageing veteran who appears to have another year left at least. Yeah, I think you'll be feeling good about tonight. He, he came back from an adductor strain. I reckon for the first time, seen him get let up, you know, by a small forward or two. And he's just working his way back through some form, but right back in into it uh, with his best form. His speed looks there again tonight, and he'll be loving playing in this team. He needs to hang around for another year to keep the 400 a bit of a nudge this guy's made so much difference to Essendon's outfit the Bombers of course just uh, avoiding the three losses in a row here by winning this one tonight they set up a mouth-watering class with Sydney next week and Carlton the week after and they will be on seven wins and two losses after this victory tonight for the Tigers it's the travel to Perth next week they play West Coast over there before they have the bye wow. I remember Essendon rating one last year BT yeah. before they succumbed to a record number of soft tissue injuries but I don't know it feels to me as though this is a better side a more dangerous and more damaging side and more complete teams and they're in brilliant shape not as flashy, are they? I mean, they are flashy at times, but they've got the hard workers like Hibbert and Howlett and these sort of guys involved in their team now. Goddard adds so much to Goddard. the side as well. With his... And their only real injuries is Elwyn Davey and obviously Michael Hurley tonight, so they're looking really healthy compared to last year as well. And got guys like Lovett Murray that, you know, at a pinch can come back into this side and, and add, you know, senior quality footy to it as well. The envelope's been sealed some time ago up here. The Ayukin medal 
awarded by Bristol tonight? No, I'm just one of several, and you're one of them, Dars. Stanton. Got uh, just looking to shift the blame just in case the votes are wrong. You are, aren't you? You're one of three, and you haven't consulted anyone. I have. Put your name to it. I have my most consultative uh, on. tonight. I reckon number four's got to be half a chance to skip it from the Bombers. He's been incredible. Not that I know what BT's has got to vote it, but just, uh, he has been outstanding. Don't try and influence uh, <laughs> the voting. Here's Goddard. Has had it tw uh, 34 times tonight. Gee, Stanton had it 38. <laughs> well, I've forgotten him. Might have overlooked him. <laughs> no, a bit of junk possessions here as Rewalt and on. Ryder decide that they won't go on with it. Carlisle is coming on beautifully for Essendon. It's going to be a thumping win tonight for them. Dream time at the MCG. Essendon win by 29 points. 13-13-91 to the Tigers, 9-8-62. Victory here tonight for the Essendon Football Club. Back on track after two straight losses, beating the Tigers by 29 points. Let's get down to Cameron Lee. Well, I've got the skipper here, Joe. That was just a really good quality win for the Essendon Footy Club, wasn't it? Yeah, we probably, certainly I thought Brisbane last week really took it up to us. Uh, but I felt tonight that our defensive pressure was where we wanted it to be. And um, we know Richmond can move the ball so well and such a powerful running team that um, but our pressure, I thought, uh, negated that and that sort of helped us win the game. With that pressure, you were able to create those turnovers through the middle part of the ground and then just set the ball flying back at a million miles an hour, didn't you? Yeah, I think, I think that the um, last couple of weeks probably been a bit safe with the ball, but I um, felt tonight that when you get a good turnover around the middle of the ground, it really opens up the ground for you. Well, we're having a discussion uh, throughout the game tonight. Do you ever fumble the footy? Just so clean in the pack. You must do a lot of work to make sure you're so clean in the contest. I, I think it might have uh, been blokes kicking the ball in my hands when I was a little kid. Might have helped. <laughs> well done tonight, mate. Go and enjoy yourself. Thanks, Great work. Thanks. Cheers. Nice to start. That man, Joe Watson, he's, he's heading for a contention at another Brownlow medal. Make no mistake about it. But more importantly for that, some finals action big time for the Bombers. Yeah, he's such a complete player, isn't he? You'd love him to play for your side. And uh, and above that, he's just an outstanding individual, Joe Watson. He's so generous with his time. He's a, he's a brilliant human being. He's led this side. You can imagine the turmoil that's been in Essendon this year, but you couldn't have had better people involved. Really, James Hurd as their coach, Joe Watson as their skip brother. As he goes and consoles Michael Hurley, he's their main worry. They need to get Michael Hurley up and running uh, soon. Probably a couple of weeks with an ankle, the doctor informs us. So the Bombers enjoying this moment here in front of a massive crowd at the MCG celebrating. There will be the presentation of the Yukon uh, Award Best on Ground down there of course. And let's go down to Craig Willis now for that announcement. Joe Watson of Essendon. Just quickly, I'd just like to thank uh, both teams to be part of the, this uh, wonderful game. Um, for the Essendon Football Club, it's just uh, fantastic to be associated with such a special round. Uh, for the Indigenous people of this country, uh, I think the AFL has done a wonderful job and the fans get behind it and it's another special game to be a part of. So thank you very much to Richmond and to the Essendon Football Club and to fans of both teams.